Welcome, my lovelies, to my very first vlog video. I decided to create this after making the biggest and hardest decision I could have ever made in my life. I decided to uh, take a leave of absence from both my jobs over the summer. This is after the whole situation back in May when I had a severe mental breakdown. Some of you may have seen my post, others have not. Um, basically, I got to the point the day, uh, night before that I wanted to end it all. I wasn't happy. I just couldn't handle any uh, what was going on, even though I was off for three weeks in May. And then Barry came back that night. Someone just clicked on my head and I just went, I, I can't. So, I was on autopilot. I don't really understand what possessed me. And what ended up happening was I went to work. I was fine. This is actually, I was talking to my friend and I never really mentioned this to her. That I was going through a very bad spell. Normally when I'm talking with her, I actually get out of my funk and I can go about my day. But I couldn't. And my mom had to call 911 the very next day. After, after this, is uh, she phoned me at my work and asked me what was going on. And she said, no, this is cry for help. We were getting, uh, calling 911 and we'll go from there. I actually ended up leaving with the paramedics and I went down to the psych ward where I was there for about six hours. Um, I actually, once I got there, I was actually in a very calm state of mind. Um, I think I just had to get away from... The whole situation. Um, I don't talk to. Uh, I actually do not talk about this at all. Um, much at work. I understand a lot of people are going through a lot themselves. Um, you know, like oh, why should I cry the blues over? You know, I had a mental breakdown. I was actually looking. Uh, talked to my friend and. You know, she has like more of like a physical problem going on with her. I'm like, oh yeah, so I'm crying the blues over a mental breakdown while you have this and it's getting uh, worse. I felt, about that. Uh, I felt bad about that. And I actually went to go see my doctor. He was at the hospital. Different hospital. He's one of the ER doctors. That's why I go to the hospital. <laughs> just, just making sure everyone knew about this. Um, and the triage nurse... She asked me, like, you know, why was I there? And I said to her, I'm like, I feel so stupid for saying this, but, you know, I had, like, a mental breakdown. It's like, no, don't be the quiet person. You need to speak up. So, <laughs> things I learned. <laughs> so, um, from there, I, over time, I decided to make the biggest decision of stepping away from both my jobs. Just so I can have a summer to myself to relax. To reintroduce myself to myself. If that makes sense. I found, or I actually find, over time I have lost my identity. I have lost who I am. I have lost my creativity. And I think that's where a lot of the stress and all this is coming from. Just to the fact that I don't have anything more to do. We already know the last year and a half has been the most taxing on all of us. Mental wise, socialize, any of that. And we get, actually my, I've been asked. Since the psych ward, even uh, when I was talking to my doctor, what is your trigger? What is causing all this? I have looked at every one of them and I've said to them, truth be told, I don't know. It could be anything. And I just, hey, I snapped. That sort of thing. So when I went to see my doctor, I told him the exact same thing. And he looked me dead in the eye and said, we are living in a trigger. It's called COVID. And I'm pretty sure 
most of you have suffered um, depression over the year and a half. And no, I am not um, a psychiatrist or a therapist. And I can say to you, oh, yes, I know what's, exactly what's going on. Trust me, if I did, I would not be in this situation right now. So with that being said, um, we finally, and I mean finally, um, got down to everything. I am now seeing a therapist. Uh, we're starting this uh, on Monday. Uh, just to the fact that it's been like a really crazy week for me. And so as of tomorrow, I am going to be off for two months. Um, originally it was supposed to be yesterday. So today I should have been off, but because, you know, my, my manager was like, how will we finish the week? Cause you know, you're gonna be off anyway. So I'm like, you know what? No big deal on that. So here we are. Um, before I go on, as you can see from my lovely shirt, every child matters. Today is July 1st. Normally we, uh, as Canadians, we'll be out celebrating Canada Day. It would have been, well, it will be our 153rd year. <sighs> Unfortunately, there's been more circumstances over this. And it's been very hard for all of us. And if I start breaking down, I do apologize. There have been over 1,500 bodies, unidentified bodies. Found from BC to Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Bradford, from residential schools. The fact that in our country this happened. This was never taught in our schools. The government never wanted us to know. We, like I said, I was going to start crying. We only learned about this the last two years of school because of one of our natives decided to hold up by and tell us what happened. And from there, you learned the heartache. You learned the heartache that they went through. This is their grandparents, their sisters, their mothers, their fathers, their grandfathers. It went down the line. So, as I'm saying, you're breaking down. No, I did not have family in there. I'm not saying I'm thankful. Actually, no, I'm not saying I'm not going to say I'm thankful because you know what? It's still hard knowing you have other families that suffered. I do not know um, much of the details. Um. I've, you know, there's only certain things I've known. I don't want to get into the details because I don't know the full extent. And I actually do feel bad that I never got to go down to Bradford and actually, you know, see the events that was going on. Um, I probably would have been saying they were uh, bawling my eyes out like I'm doing right now. <sighs> the only reason this hits home is because the last call to shut down was 1996 and the fact that they're now just finding the bodies is heartbreaking okay so that was my tear moment i had to get that out yeah so we kind of missed uh last month as uh indigenous month and I'm sorry to say, it should not be a month. Like, a lot of things, it's an ongoing thing. And please reach out. Listen. Get yourself educated. Understand what goes on. Tell us, hey, we're here. We're, we are here to listen. And if that comes out as conceited, I'm sorry then. So, I'm done with my waterworks. Anyway, get down to what I was actually going to talk about. Um, <laughs> I hope that is it for me to cry on my very first vlog, right? My first, for, um, 
my mental breakdown was actually not supposed to happen until later on when I wanted to get into the details of what happened. Um, anyway, you can see in front of me, I have three lovely uh, journals I have collected over the years. Um, originally, it was supposed to be for, we, at work, we got into the, um, it was a joke in a sense that we wanted to do um, a 365 day um, the stupidity of customers, basically. <laughs> that could have gone on for a while, trust me. Um, anyway, so now it's just being used for my workouts, eating healthy, and looking at my, uh, creating my life. So, with that being said, I'm not happy with my appearance. I'm not happy with everything in my life. Just putting that out. As you can see from the rolls, this is my weight. And I packed it on because that's just the way I wanted to do it. Am I happy? No. Have I done anything with, about it? No. So this year, I don't know why it's not kicked in until now, but it has. I decided to actually sit down and get a workout situation uh, kicked in. You know, two months off from both my jobs, I can actually focus on workouts. I don't have to worry about, oh, I'm in pain or I'm going to be doing a double shift, anything like that. No, I don't have to worry about that. So, um... Can I get an idea of what I'm going to be doing for the entire summer? And again, could we go into the full year? Give or take what's going on. Um, what I want to do is kind of create a day by day vlog. Could be my workouts. It could be my just what I want to do. Um, I've already signed up for swimming. Not lessons, uh, just doing sh uh, shallow, uh, short lengths. Uh, just get my legs and body start moving. I haven't been able to use my or bend my knees uh, as much. My knees are still shit. Um, <laughs> the funny part is, I, it's been a year. Mom and I were stupid, and I will say stupid. We decided to go tubing. This is last year. Please remember this. Hottest day. It's always hot. We went on our own. I had some screen on. Except for my legs. My legs and my stomach do not see the light of day. Clear, clear point right there. Do not see the light of day. I'm the one that's got to push and pull the tube. Mom sits. I don't have my shorts on. I'm like, no, I want to get my legs tanned. We end up going for a four hour tubing. It was fun. Stressful, but it was fun. We ended up both getting severely burnt. It didn't feel as bad. I've gotten burnt myself before. Like, oh yeah, I know I got like uh, secondary burns. No big deal. Last year, third degree. Mom and I both had third degree blisters or third degree blur, uh, burns that it, uh, turned into blisters. She had worse than I did for blisters. She was able to move. I was stuck in bed for 10 days. Unable to move. I, it took me that long to figure out how to move my legs. Actually, I think it was after my uh, couple of blisters, uh, the above part of my thigh popped. I was actually able to walk. Um... Bending was a uh, problematic thing. And let's put it this way. It took over a year for me to be able to bend. Um, I'm not sure how well it's uh, heard. I, my knees crinkle. So it is bad. <laughs> um, to say the least. Um, this year. After everything going on. I decided to refine myself and just see how things go. Make sure I get the right one. 
Haven't started anything yet. Eating healthy. It's just my Halloween stuff from a few years ago. My weight loss. I'll kind of show that more in depth later. And this is creating my life from scratch. And this I have physical, mental, career, emotional, familial, social, spiritual, financial. I got this idea from a YouTuber I was watching. And uh, her name is Surreal. And if you want to check out her videos, I'll leave a link in the description below. And while I was watching her video, I actually got inspired to do this. Because as much as I never really thought about doing a pie chart for my life, I decided to actually sit down and create something. Because... Being 32, nearly 33, and not having an idea what you want to do with your life is putting me in a rut. I live at home. I work two jobs, and I'm not happy. Could this possibly help? I don't know. Could two months of workouts any healthy help? Most definitely. So... Look at this. Yep, let's flip this around. So, we are both going, well, now we'll say both. <laughs> We're going to work on this together. I don't know exactly what I'm going to write down. I don't know where to start, how to work it out. I just want to know that I want to do this. And go from there. So the first thing on here is financial. <sighs> okay, so to write this out, um, I kind of started this beforehand. I was kind of watching our videos and I got inspired. Trying to write anything down, watching YouTube, especially the YouTube you've uh, been inspired by. My distraction gets very bad. And I said to my pastor, I'm like, oh, yeah, my writing desk and my TV are in the exact same room. I'm not getting distracted. That was a lie. <laughs> but it depends upon what's going on. Like right now, I'm just like very, you know, excited about actually doing this. So, there's so earth, financial, thinking where I want to do in, I guess, a year. I don't know because working one's a government, the other one's a part-time job. Well, it's a, it's a full-time job, but it's fast food. Um, I know it's going to look bad, especially my workers, my coworkers are watching this. Um, I'm pretty sure most of them know that I am like in a very bad situation right now. So, um, I don't see, I don't know. Um, how to answer this one. It's actually very hard for me to do it. Especially when I keep getting myself into these dark pools where I can't get my head above water. And right now I'm drowning again. This happens. Not gonna lie. <laughs> and after a little bit, I'll go more into the detail of what I want to plan out. And I know full well with me just saying, admitting to what I just said. I don't know how I'm going to get there. So to rate financial right now is a three. Not because it's not good pays. It's just how I'm dealing with the finances. Um, that one I don't want to touch. I've had different ideas of how to make money from publishing my own book, going to school. Again, we'll talk about that one later. And everything else in between. And 
15 years at one job and a year and a half at the other. We'll see how this goes. Uh, physical. Enough said. I'm rating that one as a one. People, physical. I'm not happy. So I've had body issues since I was little. Um, recently, I got out of my shell and actually bought myself a uh, bikini. I will admit it was a bikini. <laughs> um, I wanted something different. And for the first time, I want to be comfortable. I've seen so many people that are more comfortable in their skin, regardless of the size. And I can't be that uh, that person. And I've always struggled. And I don't think that's something that's ever going to go away. I'm working on it. Obviously, with my workouts. Um, actually, just today, I said, I think I've already said this. I signed up for swimming. So, so far, next week, from 7 to 7.45, I'm going to be doing um, short length uh, swims, which is going to be good. It's going to be back in the water. And once everything gets back into play, I'm looking to do it um, or do pole dancing. I... It was actually, like, I never really thought about that until I was watching another YouTuber and she was actually pole dancing and I'm like, you know, this actually seems like, a, you know, something like really fun and realizing that it's more, more of a workout than it is anything else. So, <laughs> and I know I just said about finances, but if I can work this out. I want to plan to purchase my own pole just so that way when I'm not at class, I'll be able to actually, you know, do um, some of the stuff that, you know, we've learned that day. So, um, eating healthy, <laughs> that's never been a top priority for me. Um, we buy groceries and we eat a that's just like a hard fact for all of us. Um, we just never really thought about it. So, and trust me, COVID has not been fun, uh, especially when it comes to uh, pole dancing. I want, like, I signed this, signed up back in March, thinking, oh yeah, we'll start this in April. No big deal. Lockdown. So that that went out of the window. <laughs> Um, and to answer any questions, no, I'm not going to the gym. Um, no offense. I rather not waste money on the gym. I did this before back in 2008. I joined the gym. Yeah, sure. I would go. And there are times where I go. I not go for two weeks, a month, full year. And so, of course, mom's already got, like, my mom's already got weights. We got P90X. And then just actually helps with a lot of the workouts. Um, so. Fun. Um, I'll write more, more of this later. I know Sorel, like, she was writing hers while she was uh, talking to the camera. I, I can't. My distraction level was the, distraction level goes to the roof. And, uh, so, yeah. Mental, we talked about this already, is it too? Um, I know that can be differentiated by two different things. Mental health is my main, like the way I look at it is more my mental health situation of I'm not in a good place. It's like it's not a one. Where do I want to see myself in a year from that? To be happy. How I want to achieve it. I don't know. So right now. We'll go back to that. Career. 
do I want to see either one of my jobs become my career? The one? No, even though I've been there for 15 years. It's a job. It's paying my bills. My second job, I actually love it. So, bit of a start on this. So, from 2015 up until now, I try to find second jobs just to get extra money. Uh, extra money. My very first, or my second job, first, second job, I survived a month. Didn't feel like it, but it was a month. And I left on mutual terms just due to the fact I wasn't really happy. And it wasn't no big deal. It was like, okay, fine. It was like a other job. It was, it was like a no big deal thing. Okay, back to my job. I was like, oh. <laughs> wasn't going to name names. <laughs> 2016. It wasn't until about December I got asked through the drive through So be. <laughs> it was only like a a trial and error type thing, and it that's how it felt. The person that was supposed to train me sucked. Uh, she told me the very first day, "Bring a book. It's going to get boring." I know there's a party going on, but can you tell me what the hell's like what to do? That was a fast quit. A few months later, I got hired at a retirement home. I lasted there for about four months. I wanted to go to school as well. We thought thing, things were going to go well. Um, my problem was I did not put money down for um, the deposit. So I kept in my head, I'm putting money aside, I'm going to go to school. Four months, that was it. Found out in June, I couldn't get the uh, deposit. Guess what? School is out, but I'm still sticking with the four months I'm working at this job. That was it. Nah, yeah, I did it. So my longest second job, four months at this time. 2015, sorry, <laughs> 2018. I don't remember my second job. Oh, yeah. It was another golf course. <laughs> Two days. I had no problem. It's just, again, dealing with certain people, you tend to get a very bad vibe. This is the second job that I had really bad vibes at. Managers? Great. Coworkers? Not so great. And if I'm starting to get that vibe, that's it. So, two days there, I quit. And then, so I'm in fact trying to get a hold of them was impossible. Back to the other job I go. 2019. I worked at a pool store. That was a full month. Like I said. If I don't get along with co uh, my co-workers, and if they, they give us a bad vibe, I'm done. So, my last day was the testing point. I go push it out of the way. I was doing something. She comes out at me, pushes me right out of the way. Couldn't do it anymore. So, I text my boss uh, the very next day, and I told her, I'm, I quit. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Enter October. I put my resume in. I was talking to one of the girls that works at a liquor store. November, November comes. I'm hired. I'm on fixed term. It was just for uh, uh, December. Sure, this is going to be great. I could possibly have another job. I got the biggest present on New Year's Eve. Just as we were leaving, my boss says to me, we want to hire you. We'll see you in January. So, three weeks later, I got hired. I was actually, I was happy. 
I was actually on cloud nine. And from there, because of COVID. No, I actually never lost my job. We just ended up doing double shifts. And it got to the point where I would do a five to one, one to six. For two weeks from March until April, I burnt myself out so bad. I was supposed to go in that Saturday and I felt like shit. And I was off for the uh, full month of April from the second job just to recuperate. And I still worked on my first job. I was actually fine. I just had to step back from my one job and I felt bad because I had to do that. Same thing happened this year. So, like I said earlier, last year this time, Mom and I were idiots. Got ourselves severely burnt. Unintentionally, we were off for 10 days. Worked a few days and then I was off for a week. My summer last year was shit. And, um, but anyway, I have survived for a year and a half at my second job. And I actually cannot be happier. Now, career-wise, do I want to make this as a career? I don't know. I'm happy with it. Trust me, I really, really am. I just don't know. I've gone from, I want to be a massage therapist. I have arthritis. I can't do it anymore. I want to be a wedding planner. <laughs> okay, between COVID and listening to the horror stories at work from people going to not ever get married, well, that, that went out the door. So, this kind of goes back into financial, but it's also going into the careers as well. Um, and I didn't really put down this down to the uh, pie chart. Is to get the career after the school. And for a prom I already promised my one boss. She's allowed to come my ass if I don't do this. I'm going to Mohawk next year. I understand I'm off for the summer. I'm making this work. I'm going for a two-year program for medical office assistant. Hopefully, this is going to be it. Hopefully, this will be my career. Right now, just because I can't see fully into my future right now, most times I can see further down. I can actually picture everything. Right now, it has just been dead block. I've been seeing just black, it just, and this is kind of where everything has gone downhill for me. Um, so that's the idea. Full year from now, I'll see how things go. Emotional. Three. We already know it. I'm not in a good place. Um... I don't know how to answer this. I'm hoping that when I start talking to my therapist, I will actually be able to figure out where to go, how to handle this, and what to do. Because I don't know how to actually write this down and figure the, uh, things out. Familial. Family. I've had rocky... Okay. I'm going to make this very clear. I have a very rocky relationship with my family. Mine is my mother and my grandmother. Reason? I live with them. So I have a very rocky relationship with them. But it's one of those things of, yes, we got on each other's nerves, but we always go back to each other. My aunts, uncles, and my cousins, I'm pretty sure most of them will be watching. I love you. Really, I do. There are times, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my emotional, like, my mental problem or whatever it is. Or just could be me. I haven't been very close to my family. And I know I say this as, like, it, it sounds really bad. It's just I haven't had time for my family at all. And I understand full well 
between COVID and years before, I distanced myself very badly from my family. Uh, when I was younger, <laughs> we were close. Hell, most of my aunts and uncles took me out places. And then I became a little freaking brat. For instance, I was always a little brat. Just increased as I uh, got older. Um, so, needless to say, I want to work on this. I actually want to get, you know, back into a closeness with my family and see how things go. Like I said, I have a great relationship with my mom and my grandma. Half the time, doesn't seem that way. And trust me, you have no idea how how hard it is not to show that uh, true uh, emotion around other people when we're in their house. And they, uh, either my grandmother or my mom has to say something and it gets on my nerves. You have no idea how hard it is to bite my tongue. <laughs> it is difficult. <laughs> Spiritual. The lows I'm going right now for this is one. Because I have been struggling with my spirituality. I don't know where I stand in this. I've said before I'm a baby witch. I don't know anymore. Christian? No. Sure, I'll attend church. If I know the person or whatever, I'll go. My heart's not into it. I think I've kind of mentioned that before to a few of them. I think most of them know I can't. <laughs> so right now my spirituality is just very non-existent. I'm still trying to find myself in that. Um, this pretty much is just me finding myself in general. So in general, welcome. <laughs> to 60 freaking days of me finding myself and hopefully being able to just be happy um it could be interesting not everything not every little thing's gonna get documented obviously um Due to the fact that I don't actually own a camera, it's through my cell phone. Um, recording my workouts is going to be probably non-void. <laughs> um, swimming and whenever uh, pole dancing happen happens, that's not going to be recorded, by the way. Um, major reasons on that. <laughs> um, hopefully by the end of summer, Mr. Happy Happy up here is going to go bye-bye. And... We'll go from there. So, closing point. Please enjoy this video. And if you like it, rate, comment, and subscribe. And please, don't be afraid to comment and ask questions. Love you. Bye.